Hey guys, what's going on? I got an epic video planned for you guys today on a brand new 2018 Pro line that the Boathouse Marine Center in Pompano Beach set Victor and I up with to fish all day on. And then I'm gonna end the video with an awesome new recipe for a catch and cook, so definitely stay tuned for that. Got him on. Got him on. First fish of the day. And the boat. Small kingfish, it just came up on top. All right, we're just getting it in, hand lining that rod in, a little snake king. All right, now these guys have to be 24 inches to keep, which I don't think he's 24 inches. Do you think so? Do you think so? He yeah? Might, he might be right there. You got a med? We got a med. All right, they have to be 24 inches to the fork, and this is 23 and a half, so I'm gonna let them go. So far, we've already caught two kingfish, so we're doing pretty good. All right, fish number three, Victor is on. Go. They're getting a little bit bigger. Third kingfish, second keeper. That's two kingfish that we can eat. There's our fifth kingfish. Another perfect eating size one. In the box. <laughs> Brooke has looked up, guys. Matt just lost one on the pointer as well. We had two on at once. And uh, it just came off, so Brick's gonna hand line it now. This one's bigger than the last one. Yeah. There we go. How big is it, Brick? This one is 23 to the fork. So we gotta let this guy go too. So it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning, and both of these guys already are, are breaking into their subs for lunch. <laughs> That's what happens when you wake up early. You start eating lunch at 10 o'clock. And nothing is better on a boat than a sub right there. Not just any sub. It's got to be a pub sub. And now Victor is hooked up. He was using a ballyhoo. Oh yeah. I like his decent, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like a bigger king. It does look like a bigger king. There's a lot of kings out today. There is. Mm -hmm. They're not that big, but there's a lot around. And it's a perfect gap shot. Right in the head. Mm -hmm. You're on, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. He woke up. I'd say we're having a pretty good day. We haven't had much, like, downtime where we haven't had a lot of action going on. It's been pretty good. Yeah. Whether it's been the planer or the live baits, we're getting tight all day long. Oh, yeah. So we had a great day out on the water. We ended up catching eight kingfish. Two of them were too small, so we had to let them go, but we brought home six kingfish. Victor flayed up one of the kingfish for us, and I've been wanting to do a teriyaki fish recipe, and I've been waiting to have like a thick fish so I can put it on the grill, and that was my plan for this, to put the kingfish on the grill, but the kingfish is a little mushy, so I'm just gonna make it in a pan, but I am making teriyaki kingfish. I'm gonna make some broccoli and some coconut jasmine rice. It's gonna be really good, so let's get to cooking. All right, so the first thing we're gonna get started on is our homemade teriyaki sauce. So this is what you're gonna need for the recipe. Soy sauce, honey, cornstarch, garlic powder, some sesame seeds, and some brown sugar. So I'm kind of following a recipe, but doing my own thing to it. So the first thing is a half a cup of soy sauce, some garlic powder, six tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of honey, so I have it on 
medium heat and I'm just going to keep stirring it and just let the brown sugar melt in and then eventually I'm going to add water and cornstarch to give it that nice thickness that I'm looking for. I'm going to add some cornstarch to this water and that's what I'm going to pour into the teriyaki sauce to thicken it. I'm not going to put this directly into the sauce. I want this to dissolve first before I pour it into the sauce. I'm going to slowly add in my water and cornstarch mixture. Now I'm serving my fish with coconut jasmine rice. Now it might sound a little weird to you, which I don't know, it sounded weird to me when I first had it, but my friend Chris Lowe, it's his recipe. He's a firefighter, so he normally cooks for a giant house of people. It's definitely a crowd pleaser, so if you haven't tried it before, you definitely want to try it. You're going to need some jasmine rice and some cream of coconut. The cream of coconut, I'm gonna just start by adding it slowly and then taste it and then see if I need to add more. I got my teriyaki sauce to the thickness that I want and I'm going to pour it onto my kingfish fillets. I have some butter in the pan and I'm on medium to high heat. I'm going to take my kingfish and put those babies in here. Now what would a teriyaki sauce be without? Some sesame seeds. So I'm just going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on these. Ooh la la, they're looking good. So this is the finished product. I whipped up some broccoli and added just some garlic salt on there. And we have the jasmine coconut rice and then the teriyaki kingfish and it looks great so I'm ready to enjoy. This is a good teriyaki kingfish. And look, look at the color of that stuff. It's gorgeous. So we caught this fish on Friday and today is Monday. And a lot of people are afraid of eating kingfish and let alone waiting a couple days to eat it. And here we are eating it days after catching it. And you hear them. Still delicious. What do you think, Jed? It's on point. It's honestly just as good as practically any other fish. I don't know what people have to complain about. It's good. It's super good. All right, so we are finishing up that fabulous dinner with my favorite dessert, which is actually pineapple on the grill. Now it's just, it's not just plain pineapple. We add some brown sugar and cinnamon and we grill it and it's just amazing. So I'm gonna make that for you guys. Now I cheated and I went and got some pre-peeled and cored pineapple so I don't have to do it myself. But the best way to do this is to have nice strips. So I'm gonna go like this, cut it in half. And then I'm gonna cut each half into threes. So you just got nice long spears. Now I just got these shish kebab sticks. Uh-oh, definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> now that I have the pineapple on the sticks, I'm going to add this just sugar and cinnamon mixture um, to both sides of the pineapple. So we got our pineapple spears with our sugar and cinnamon on them and they're ready for the grill. I didn't leave these on the grill for too long, just long enough to have that sugar lightly caramelize into the pineapple. I promise you, you're going to want to try this pineapple recipe. It is so good. Okay guys, one last thing. I want to change my channel name on YouTube. I want it to be something other than just my name. I was thinking Brooke Chris Outdoors or something like that, but you guys get creative. If you have any ideas or options, comment down below and let me know. I want to see what you guys think. So the new teriyaki recipe was definitely a success. I definitely suggest trying it. It was actually pretty easy to make and it was something that completely changed up what you normally do to fish, like butter and seasoning. So it was definitely a good change. Now don't knock kingfish until you try it. I know there are a lot of people that do like kingfish. I like kingfish, but there's also a lot of people that have a stereotype for it that's like a trash fish but don't knock it until you try it it's really good well thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and also like the video and i'll see you in the next video and the teriyaki chicken smells amazing who's that teriyaki chicken oh. <laughs> 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 what's going on you yeah you should start like that Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat>